High in the Rocky Mountains, where modern highways now carve through the landscape, lies a hidden piece of Colorado's ancient past, just 220 yards west of I-70. The Vail Pass Camp is a remarkable prehistoric site that has been revealing its secrets for generations. What may seem like just another stretch of wilderness is in fact one of Colorado's most significant high elevation archeological sites. As you can see this huge construction site here, the site of the, uh, the old rest stop, they're, they're redoing it currently. And I'm wondering uh, if they're going to build some sort of memorial or some sort of recognition for this, this ancient site because uh, it's, it's pretty significant. And for them to just build a parking lot over it would be quite a tragedy. Here's it again from above. It's pretty huge. So there's a stark contrast between what was here and what is now. Archaeologists have uncovered more than 70 distinct features at Vail Pass Camp, each offering a glimpse into the lives of the people who once roamed these mountains. Among the discoveries are 48 ancient fire hearths, a stone circle, and a semicircle, fragments of two clay pots, and an array of tools, including projectile points and scrapers and knives, each piece whispering tales from the past. Would have been the stream running through the campsite here. It's beautiful. They would have needed fresh water up here. There's not much of it at this altitude. So we head back over here. I want you guys to notice this site in the center is the actual archaeological site. They have it fenced off where this little patch of trees are here. So they have preserved it. I mean, this fenced off. I just hope they uh, protect it further from further development. Because as things go on, as time progresses, I feel like we forget about these things. Another thing, guys, this bristlecone tree here. This may have been here very well might have been here uh, when the natives were also here. There's no way to date them for sure, but it has lots of dieback on the uh, trunk there. So it could be over a thousand years old. And as I said, the latest inhabitants of this site was, you know, 1700, I think they estimated. The earliest evidence of occupation at Vail Pass Camp dates back to between 6400 and 5800 BC, during the early Archaic period. Over the millennia, this site was used repeatedly, with periods of intense activity, particularly during the late Archaic period, from 1250 to around 100 BC. The most recent occupation uh, was around the 1700s, actually, so not too long ago, by the uh, Jute or Ute people. It depends how you like to pronounce it. If I can get across this river here, we should have a pretty good view of the whole site. So guys, basically this site is the, uh, the site of an old, about 8,000 year old campsite from the natives who would use this land to hunt, to hunt during the summer. And essentially it was discovered and ever since it's just been sitting here on the side of the highway. Uh, I'll voice over some specific dates later in the video, but it's just crazy to me that they can build a truck stop right next to one of the most significant archeological finds in the state. Uh, the, the site is preserved in a tiny little fenced-in area, but I can't imagine what's under the parking lot, what's under the highway, you know, what's here right behind me, and what's not being preserved, and the lack of attention drawn to this. 
It's a beautiful sight though. I've made it to a good spot to sit here and I just can't help but think. Hiking up here every summer, leaving your family thousands of years ago with no cell phone, no anything, just some stone tools and your hunting equipment and your friends, I guess, uh, to walk all the way up here to 10,000 plus feet and hunt huge game like bison, elk, moose, everything. It just blows my mind. Again, I wish I could show you guys the actual site, but it is contained right now during construction. I'm hoping they are going to preserve it. Can you see the brook trout? This terrain would have been perfect uh, for moose and other large grazers, making this probably one of the most perfect summer campsites somebody from the western slope could find, really. The area was likely a seasonal hunting ground used by small groups of people from late spring through early fall. The harsh conditions of the mountains made it uninhabitable during the winter, uh, but in warmer months it provided an ideal base camp for hunting and processing game. This puddle has a couple little uh, baby brook trout in here. Look at that. I think I'm going to save him and put him in a different puddle because I think this will be dry in a couple days. I got him. Oh. Ah. All right, I caught the puddle trout, putting him in the river. And there he goes. The site's features tell us even more. The stone circles and the fire hearths suggest that the inhabitants used lightweight, portable shelters, perhaps similar to teepees, ideal for their nomadic lifestyle. The presence of pottery fragments, which are typically cumbersome to transport, indicates that these campsites were not just quick stopovers. They were home for several days or even weeks at a time. So now that we've moved away from the main campsite, I'm gonna check out surrounding hills here because they kind of look the same. Kind of like a clearing in either side there. You see that? Let's see if there's any signs of human activity up there. There might be more than one campsite. I don't see why they would all camp in one spot with all these other spots around, but I'm not an archeologist, so. Maybe an old bridge here. Who needs it? I don't know how well they're coming in on the uh, camera here, but these little hills seem to have like clearings on them. I don't know. We're going to check that out. It's easy to forget that beneath the surface, these lands are filled with stories. Stories of survival, adaptation, and connection to the natural world. Vail Pass Camp is a testament to the enduring legacy of the people who came before us, leaving behind traces of their lives for us to discover and cherish. Took me a while, but I think I found a way up. This impenetrable wall of willows here. Pretty hard to get through. Now this site isn't 
on the records or anything, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, to me, this looks like an old campsite. The way the trees have been cleared. It's pretty flat, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. We get up to this flat spot here, tucked away in the trees, and it's starting to really look like a campsite. I don't see any modern signs of, of people back here, though. But when you see this dirt patch, very nice rocks and everything. Look back in the forest, it's nice and flat. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well guys, that about wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If not, don't. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.